Hello, my name is Zachary Chester. I am with Live Group C2 in AE2610 at the Georgia Institute of Technology. And this is the Combustion Dynamics in Iraqi Tube. The Iraqi Tube was created in 1859 by Peter Iraqi himself. As seen in the picture below, it generally consists of a metal tube, a wire gauze, and a butane burner. The reason for the noise emitted by the Iraqi Tube are the acoustic oscillations. Due to the naturally occurring oscillations within a flame, a pressure oscillation followed by a velocity oscillation occur within the tube. The pressure and velocity waves are approximately 90 degrees out of phase with each other. And as such, on the bottom half of the tube share the same sign and the top half share different signs. This means that on the bottom half of the tube is the only place where a successful acoustic oscillation can occur. An important thing to note are that when fuel is burned, it hardly ever occurs in one step, and rather has many intermediate steps with radicals, such as OH, hydrogen, and oxygen. These species are very volatile and tend to decay in a way that emits light, called chemiluminescence. Experimental setup and procedure. Aside from the Reiki tube and the burner, there are three main components of this experiment. The photomultiplier tube, the pressure transducers, and the computer data acquisition center and oscilloscope. The photomultiplier tube is a device that detects the amount of photons being emitted from a light source, creates a current, runs that current through a resistor, and creates a voltage drop that is measured. The pressure transducers, on the other hand, are quartz, which when experiencing a strain, such as a pressure change, have a current emitted within them that is then run through a resistor, creating a voltage drop that is also measured. The important thing to note are that the pressure transducers are very susceptible to heat change and therefore are placed in semi-infinite tubes branching off from the Reiki tube. The third part of this components list is computer data and acquisition center along with oscilloscope. This is where we measure and observe the data. In this experiment, four main processes were a measurement of the zero inch closed the 0 inch open, the 5.4 inch ceasing point, and the 2 inch closed locations, along with the data from the photomultiplier and the pressure transducers. As seen on the left is a 2 inch closed video of the oscillations occurring at this point. And on the right, you can see the transition from a 0 inch closed to a 0 inch open. As you can see, there's oscillation within the flame during the closed portion, and as soon as the pressure equalizes, there's no oscillation. In the data, we can see the amplitude of pressure at each pressure transducer along with the relative phase angles compared to the middle pressure transducer. Important things to note here are that since the nodes of the pressure wave are at the top and bottom of the tube, and the antinode is at the center, it is detectable within the 0 inch closed and the 2 inch closed portions, where the PU and PL transducers detect roughly the same decimal points, and the PM transducer is the max. This theory falls through for the 0 inch open and 5.4 inch closed, in which no oscillation is occurring. Another important thing to discuss is the similarities between the photomultiplier and the PL transducer, in which the phase of the photomultiplier is roughly 90 degrees before the PL transducer. This makes sense when you consider that the heat oscillation being detected by the photomultiplier is what motivates the pressure wave to occur, which is being detected by the PL transducer. Another important thing to note are that the PU, PM, and PL transducers have roughly similar phases for the PU and PL, and about 180 degrees out of phase for the PM transducer. One important thing to note is that during this experiment, we used a fan to make the Reiki tube work. This simply is using airflow to create more oscillations within the heat source to lead to better oscillations within the pressure wave and velocity wave. In this section, we, we show the peak frequencies along with RMS voltage of the photomultiplier tube and the PU, PM, and PL transducers, along with the, the resonant frequency as calculated using the speed of sound for the given room. Potential variations to the experiment include taking the tube, heating it, and then slowly tilting it to find the angle at which the noise quits being emitted.
as seen in other experiments online. Furthermore, different applications that this experiment apply to are jet engines in which you must have a trade-off between the power and the noise, especially in commercial jets. Some important takeaways from this lab. Acoustic oscillations can increase the ability for fuel to mix along with the heat transfer from a heat source. However, it leads to louder noise and more vibrations. These trade-offs are important to take into consideration within the engineering field, and as such, are an important factor to learn from this experiment.